Coach Wickline, over nine years at Oklahoma State, you brought great success there and people took notice. There were other offers. But when Charlie Strong called, why was this the right opportunity? You know, I was in a great place. Oklahoma State, uh, Mike Holder and, and, and Boone Pickens and Mike Gundy. It's just, uh, and the people there are just great. And, and so I didn't go a lot of places before then. But uh, the University of Texas in all of the coaching profession is a special place. And then obviously when you choose to work the hours we work and you devote the time you devote and it's your children and your family, uh, I mean, if you're going to make a move like that, you want to go with someone you believe in, someone that has your back, someone that lets you coach, and someone that does things the right way, and that's Coach Strong. He's as good as they come. You and Coach Strong go back a long way. This is your fourth stint on a staff with him? I think so. But your first with him as a head coach. What has not changed about Charlie Strong since your days as graduate assistants together at Florida? Uh, I, may, I may be the only one that knows this. I truly don't think he's changed a bit. I mean, I guess he has. Uh, you know, I guess I should say he's polished and whatever, but uh, he's the same, Charlie Strong. He's always positive. Um, he's always worked out. He's uh, always believed in the kids, and they believe in him. Uh, he has a natural ability to draw people to him because, he's, again, like I said, he's, he's an honest guy, and, he, and he's real. And... Uh, uh, he's a guy you can believe in pretty easily because he has no motives, or there's no agenda. Everything he does is about helping someone else or helping this program or helping this group of people. And it's just easy to like him. He's a good guy. Now, you had a different perspective on this Texas team last season, being the only one on this new coaching staff who game planned against the Longhorns. What made you excited about this team once you realized you had the opportunity to come here? Again, I'm going to have to say it's the University of Texas. And, there's, and you, again, you have to be in my world to know that there's not many of those out there. So that's number one. Number two, the type of players that come from this state or regionally are generally players you can not just win with, you can win big with. And number three is the excitement over this program. This program has been really good. They've done great things. We've fought against them. We've lost. We've fought against them. We've won. But at the end of the day, this is a big time program and it's great, a great fan base and it's all about the Texas Longhorns. I know there's a lot of work left to do. I know that the Charlie Strong regime has not yet led the team out of the tunnel onto the field at DKR, but what groundwork have you all been able to lay thus far for the foundation here? Um, I think we've just started. I think you really just start chipping away. I mean, you're starting to meet them and get to know and feel. Uh, the players and, 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 you know, and strengths and weaknesses and, uh, you know, there's some that have limitations and some are going all the way with it and, and some that are kind of taken aback from it. And uh, so you really don't know where you're at right now, but I would say you, you've, uh, you've, you've had a good start in terms of I think we're all on the same page with uh, this is what we expect from you, this is what you can expect from us. Coach Strong wants it done this way from an academic standpoint, from going to treatment to going to class. So I think uh, you know, we've started, and, and so far it's been a really good response. What are those expectations? How have you laid them out? Well, basically to do stuff right. I mean, basically that you're not here just to, to go through four or five years and, and, and go through college and look back and how much did you get done? Why are you here? Okay. Um, you, obviously the core values that, that, he, that, that he's so strong on that we all should be strong on, okay. Obviously, academics. I mean, you're not here just to play football. You're here to get a degree. And, and, and that pours out of him because that's all we talk about. So with Brian and, you know, and, and all the people that help with academics, the, the players are well understand where they're at with that, right? The third thing is do things right, treat people right, all right? And, uh, and that's come around. And the fourth thing is be accountable. There's no such thing as we don't, we don't want to hear you were late. We don't want to hear you weren't on time. We don't want to hear you didn't get this done. You didn't turn that in. So just grow up, mature, and be a person and be accountable for who you are. So those are some of the expectations. An offensive staff with some strong minds here when you have Les Kenning coming from an offensive coordinator background and also Sean Watson. How do you all mesh your ideas? What are those offensive meetings like right now as you bring all of your philosophies together? It's been great. Um, you know, and I don't want to offend anybody up in Stillwater because it was great there. But the, the fact of the matter is, with Les Kenning, have been so many places that he's been, 
He's comfortable who he is, and he's a great football coach. With Sean Watson, the things that he has been able to do at Louisville and Colorado and Nebraska and all the places he's been, unbelievable. What you got is a bunch of people who are comfortable in their skin. They, they, they understand what their role is, they understand why they're here, and we can all share ideas with no agendas and nobody has any hang-ups, and it's been a great thing. Now, as you lead this offense into the spring, what are your top priorities during that period? Well, we want to find out who we got. We want to find out personnel-wise, um, you know, we're, we're, who are we? I mean, are we spread? Are we, are we, are we tight? Are we, you know, so we want to find out what our personnel can do from a running back standpoint, receiver alignment. The other thing is we want to install what we think is a good fit for the University of Texas from a defensive standpoint, special teams, and a team. And we want to install our offense. So when you do that, it's obviously we want to have those core, core things as far as you know, eliminate missed assignments, no turnovers, no detrimental plays, be able to get the ball out in space, be balanced, and stuff like that. Coach Wickline, thank you so much. Thank you very much.